Hey everybody, welcome back to round two of the water comparison video series. Tonight we're comparing those five bottles of water, and the reason they're over there is because we're going to do something a little different. I've got these drops and this little dropper, and we're going to test the pH level of these waters. Here's a chart of pH levels, and the color that the drops turn the water into will represent what pH level. Okay, here we go. We're going to start off with sheets water for kids. This is some water that goes to charity. And I think that's a good amount of water. This is the first time I've done this, so I hope this works. They say put two drops. Stir it up a little bit. And so, a lot of you guys have requested that I start doing this. And one of the reasons I haven't done it is because I'm colorblind, and so I don't know if my commentary is going to be that great. I'm just going to put the chart in front of it, and um, maybe you guys can decide what the pH level is. And I, I made sure to put a white background behind it to give you a, the best indication of what the color is. Here's the Wegmans Wonder Water. There's lots of people on YouTube who have done this with a big lineup of waters. And apparently this is something people care about, what the pH level is. This one looks a little more blue to me, but again, I'm colorblind, so I don't really know. Here's the Fresh Market water. Supposed to be electrolyte enhanced. And um, I don't love doing this because it's kind of wasting water. So, what color is it going to be? Oh, I think that's bad. That seems pretty acidic, I think. I don't really know. Seems to match up with about six, I think. I'm looking at this chart and I've reviewed most of these waters already. The Sawney is apparently terrible when it comes to acidity. Here's Humankind water. This is a water that goes to charity also. Sheets only gives 25 per, uh, cents per bottle to charity. This humankind water apparently gives 100% of the profits. Let's do another drop. But that looks pretty acidic. It looks very acidic to me, actually. Even more so than this one, but maybe that's because I put more of those drops in it. Here's Fresh Finds Purified Water from uh, Big Lots. Just drinking some of the water. I think there was too much in there. Again, I'm colorblind. This looks like a six. This looks like a five, kind of, to me. This looks like a five or six. This looks like maybe a seven. Maybe I'm completely wrong. And this sheets water looks, looks pretty good, I think. I think it's like a nine or an eight. Maybe a seven. I don't know. All right, now let's do a taste test. Here's the sheets water. Tastes pretty good. 
Here's the Wonder Water with Lemon. Um, tastes like lemon. <laughs> Here's the Fresh Market Water. Tastes pretty good. This says it has electrolytes added, which are like basically salts. I don't really taste any salts in this water. It actually tastes really good. Here's the humankind water. This one was pretty acidic -y. Like I don't taste the acid or the pH level at all. But I do like this water because they um they give money to helping charities and this is gonna sound weird I guess these are both charity waters I kind of think that the humankind waters charity is better the sheets charity like buys toys for American kids and like it gives money to Make-A-Wish which I guess they're sick kids and it, it just with Make-A-Wish they get to go to Disney World or like basketball game or meet a celebrity or something with the humankind water like they give water to people who are actually dying just in my personal opinion I kind of think that's a better cause like stopping people from dying and getting sick I mean that might sound weird and the humankind water also um, gives more money per bottle I believe than the sheets one. Here's the fresh finds water. This is like a very standard cheapo bottle from Big Lots. The reason this made it to this round is because it was up against another Big Lots water, which was I think it was a sparkling water. And so this kind of made it to this round by default. So, I tested all these. I'm going to eliminate this lemon water first. Just because it has the added flavor. It doesn't taste bad. I'm not going to say this tastes bad at all. This is a lot like hint water. It just, it's not really water in my opinion. So I'm going to eliminate it because of the added flavor mainly. And um, down to four. Um, next up, I'm going to eliminate this. This is just like a standard Niagara bottle of water or Nestle bottle of water. It just has like the, the plasticky kind of taste from the cheap, thin bottle. It's not terrible, it's just like this. I'm not going to give it a thumbs down, but it's not as good as these other three. So out of these three, I think that the Sheets bottle had the best pH level on that test. But as far as the taste goes, out of these three, I think this is the worst. It just tastes like tap water. I think that's the same way I described it in the first review, too. And I kind of hate to eliminate this because I already bought another one for round three, but I just have to eliminate it anyway. It's, it doesn't it just doesn't taste good as these two. And just keep in mind, the main thing that this comparison is on is the taste. So, anyway, if the, if the taste comes down to a tie, I do factor in other stuff, but the taste is the main thing that I, I do the decision on. Between these two, the Fresh Market one just tastes better. I mean, I feel kind of bad eliminating this charity water 
because it helps, you know, it helps people not be dehydrated and die. So if you see this in a store, in, in Walmart or any other store, feel free to buy it to help them out. Or just go to their website and help them out. But if you want the best tasting water out of all these, this Fresh Market one is the best tasting in my opinion. It's got electrolytes in it, which normally I don't even like, but as far as the taste goes, this is the best one out of them. So, thanks for watching.